Um, yeah, we've got a bit of work to do. Um, so it was disappointing, to be honest. Um, a lot of the indicators are in a positive way, but uh, I just thought we were really scratchy again with our ball use, um, fumbling, um, and certainly our decision making. So um, I think we've got a bit of work to do. Is the week off good or bad timing, do you think? <laughs> yeah. Like everything, it's going to be judged in hindsight, isn't it? Um, so I can pontificate here, Matt, and say it's going to be great for us, and don't know. Um, What's your plan? What are you going to do? Certainly we've got a few players sore and uh, a few knocks and guys come off at certain times and, and got through the game. Uh, but we'll give them Monday, Tuesday off and uh, then uh, probably put some work into them by the end of the week. Uh, give them next weekend off because we don't play on the Monday, so we don't play on the Saturday or Sunday, so we've got 16 days. So a fairly intense Friday and a fairly intense Monday week. Um, so, so we need to get some work into some players. Can you also what happened to the... To the Gold Coast last week, how much of a challenge was it during the week just to get them up to this opposition? Yeah, yeah, I think most of them were up. It's just our ball use and you know, fumbling, handballed a guy and we dropped a ball and, and mucked around with it and kicked it on the ground and tried to be too short and cute. And um, So, yeah, I don't, I don't know whether it's the right, the right phrase, what the right answer is, is to that, but I thought generally uh, the attitude was okay. It's just execution was poor. What did you think about the Gold Coast? What do you think about their, their game plan, the way that they're going about it? Oh, I haven't thought too much about it, mate. So, probably the wrong person to ask at the state. Sorry, I've just really concentrated on us. Did you look at Carlton's 190-point margin as par or as a standard that you could...? No, no, I don't think so. I think they're always going to improve, aren't they? I mean, Avalon was a far better player. So, the players who... Um, yeah, Brennan was better. So, so those guys who who were underdone last week are always going to be better. So I don't think you're ever going to get that uh, situation. We missed a lot of shots and uh, it was just frustrating that we that we couldn't nail it earlier. Um, but having said that, Gold Coast are going to get better every week once they play with each other, play, you know, they play together more often, that they're going to get better. How, how concerning was the clearance rate? Right Terrible. Yeah, shocking. That was a real issue, especially early. First quarter was, yeah. was diabolical. We started to even up a bit by half time, but in the end still lost. So. Um, yeah, some of our better players in there were, were very average. Um, and we've spoken about that, so that's uh, we've done a lot of work on that. So um, that was that was really disappointing. That, that that was one downside to the game. Mm -hmm. What about Barry Hall last last week? Seven. Seven. Yeah, I didn't realise it was it was uh, it was coming. But Barry was good. Yeah, he'd be pleased with that. He's he's put up a little bit tight and tall. So probably in that aspect, the you know the week off is going to help help some of the players. Um, but yeah, it was you know that, no, that's good for him. Just on thinking with um, Stack as the sub, a lot, of, a lot of coaches seem to let the sub loose, let him run mad in the midfield or uh, chase the ball around. He would seem to be up forward at first and then given the job on Vidal. Um, what was he thinking with using it? Oh, just he's got good pace and good speed and didn't use it. So that was disappointing. So he, he's got some real attributes and for whatever reason, Brennan didn't work. You, know, you would think the sub coming on, and that's for any team, they're fresh. The game slowed a bit. They, you know, they should be having an impact. And uh, so from that aspect, it was disappointing that he, he didn't grab that opportunity. So there weren't your instructions for him to stay back on Vidal or to...? Well, we started him at forward thinking speed is going to help, and then he got lost, and we put him down back again after that to try and get him in the game to be able to generate some run from half-back, which he started to generate some run but turned the ball over. Was Jay up well? Yeah, he was a bit sick before the game, and um, I think he vomited just before the game started. So he had a bit of gastro, um, and he came off once and was and was crook again. Um, so I think he fought through that really well. Uh, he was one that you know, I thought I thought showed a bit of leadership. I thought he was he was good, uh, worked hard, and then so I had the call at half time. Maybe if we're looking for a sub player, he, he's the one to look at. Um, so we got confirmation of that halfway through the third. Has he caught the knock early in the game? So there was. As outsiders, we were speculating on oh, this is the concussion thing coming. Yeah. So it was nothing to do with it. No, no, nothing to do with that. I think he may be a bit dazed, and I think he got a bit of a cut in the back of his head. Yeah. Um, and I think Cal Ward got a bit dazed um, uh, as well. We had a couple of knocks and players. Hutto hurt his ankle and a few other minor issues, but um, no, they were, they were all fine. Just on you, you talking about the clearances, you got Cross and Boyd, who you know got stacks of the ball. Just wondering overall, how did you assess their games, given, given that the clearances? Flash. Yeah, Daniel's not really a clearance player as such. He's he played a bit on the wing. Um, 
I, I think with Daniel, that he worked hard, he probably didn't uh, get great efficiency with the, his ball use, which... Um, uh, and I thought Matthew, after Adler got on top of picking early, um, we put Matthew onto him, and I thought Matthew did a pretty good job for one and a half, two quarters. And I thought thought his leadership there was good. I thought he, you know, he actually curbed his influence a bit and generated some some ball going forward. So I, th- I thought Bert, I thought Boyd played okay. Said Ward was a big sore. Who's that? Sorry. Said Ward was a big sore. I just got a bit dazed. That's all. Yeah. He got because he got knocked knocked over here off the ball. So. Probably the cameras might catch that. You didn't happen to catch that yourself, Rocket? No, I didn't see it. No, I didn't see it. So, so that was disappointing. I suppose we we flew the flag, gave a free kick away, but then got a goal from it. And then it was disappointing. Jared Grant actually did what he did to Brown to make the free kick in the middle of the ground. So that was disappointing.